Destin, Florida. A tourist nightmare. Let's see how bad it is today. So far, it's not too terrible bad trying to go here. It was down by Destin Commons. I was down there a little while ago. Had some stuff to do down there, but um, this road looks pretty clear. Here, it's uh, 9.30 in the morning. Really surprised this road is this empty right now. Let's get into the no turn lane. This is going to turn up here pretty soon. So, a buddy of mine was talking about Carmichael's, a strip joint. It used to be out by Shalimar. And I, I don't remember it. I've seen videos and pictures, and I knew some of the girls in the videos. But I was like, I don't remember that place exactly. Where was it at? But he was telling me that it actually burned down. Which the word was that it was arson. Arson with a reason. <laughs> sort of like Lay's potato chips and bad decisions. Um, <clears throat> but he said it was really, really a neat club. I should have asked him what years that was because I've seen some videos of, of people there on the internet and I'm like, I just, I don't know. So it may have been something that just opened for a short time, or that somebody tried to turn into a strip joint. There's a girl picking up the trash. She's probably from that fun park right there. And she's probably picking up the trash to keep it from looking nasty for the tourists. Everybody doing their part. Nail bar open Sunday. So, from a distance, this license plate says cool one, but when you get up close, it doesn't. That's kind of interesting. So, if somebody tried to turn your tag in, it would never be right because they would think it said cool one and it really didn't. Look at this. This is pretty wild. It's like they used all cues or something. You know they paid that 50 or 60 bucks to personalize a tag. You know they did. There's a probability of that coming. C-Q-Q-L-Q-N-E. See? Looks like it says cool one. <laughs> Mr. Tex is getting your side of the road. You can't buy it. Drive in both lanes. So there's a bit of traffic coming into the Destin area there, not too terrible bad. Probably trying to get to the other side, out there by Destin Commons. Let me get in this other lane before I get stuck by the Whataburger traffic where there's 25 people that are in line in the street and never moves. So the option, best option is to try to get in this other lane to get around that. Because it's real hard to tell. You go 275 and 302. How do you like that for fuel prices? <laughs> right across from each other. 275 and 302. That's insane. And there's people at both gas station. Look at that. Look at the line for Donut Hole. That's the way it normally is. So 
So it's supposed to rain in a few minutes, and then um, it's and then it's supposed to rain from like five o'clock on. So I think, which is nice because it keep it cool. It's easier to work for me when it's a little cooler, and I can work in the rain. That's not a problem. Right now, I'm trying to get my skates finished. Um, but I need to go to the Washateria. And a rain day is a good day for that, too. But the weekday is a little better. I needed to go really bad Saturday or Sunday, but you know, everybody would be there. And a lot of the hotels use those Washaterias, so I hate when I go in there and they've got like every washer used up. And then as soon as you can get a washer, then they've used up all the dryers. Because you know they have to tag all that stuff separate for some reason. They put little stickers and numbers on it or whatever. So they can't wash them all together. So they use up every dryer in the whole wash area. So I get aggravated with that because I just want to go in and do a load and run. But today I've got to pull everything and wash it. And my clothes too. So I'm gonna try to go during the day, hoping there's not a ton of people there. It's so hard being out in public and boot docking and have to go to all these places all the time in the public with this corona. It's so hard.
what is he going to do? What is he going to do? I, I, I said, call them locksmith. Maybe almost $200 for them to come out and unlock that car. No, I've done it, I think, twice. My little girl was just tiny. And she, um, I wonder if they got permission to park there or if they rented a space there. It would be really neat if they had some like that where people could rent a space or two, but they probably have to get a city permit to do that. Because there's a travel park right over here somewhere. I think there's two. Over here. Oh, they put some other rides out there? Looks like gator bumper cars or something. Check it out. I thought they only had the car ride thing. Looks like they're gonna put up brick walls or something because they got a bunch of brick out there. Oh, at that convention center. 